If you own a sewing machine or you are interested in start sewing your own clothes, then this video is for you on how to set up your sewing machine. Before that, make sure you click on the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get right onto it. Every electric sewing machine must come with its paddle and its wires. So this, I am going to plug this right by the side of my sewing machine. As you can see, this, is, this stage is very important because your sewing machine cannot work if this is not intact by the side of your sewing machine. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place my paddle down and then my fuse and put it into a socket. Next thing I would love to show you are the equipment that come with your sewing machine. So make sure to pay attention because I'll be sharing with you each functions of this equipment so pay attention so the first equipment i'll be showing you here is the seam ripper and the brush the seam ripper is used to rip out threads and the brush is used to clean your sewing machine for maintenance and this is also the thread holder this is where we are going to place our thread while sewing so the next one i'll be showing you is the screw driver to screw to remove screws when you are trying to maintain your sewing machine and this is used to hold down threads when you are threading your bobbins i will show you how it is done make sure you watch this video to the end so this is the bobbin case we will place it right here the next thing i'll be showing you are the bobbins these are what bobbins look like a sewing machine should come with at least three to four bobbins and you can still get some more from the store and the next thing I'm going to show you is the reversed paddle. As you can see, the arrow indicating on the sewing machine. This is used when you want to start stitching or you're about to hand stitches on your fabric. As I'm pressing that, it is affecting the teeth of the machine there. So this is essential to lock your stitch. And these are the type of stitches the machine, the butterfly machine can perform. I think it's over seven different stitches over there or well, not up to seven and this that I'm moving back front and back is just to tighten my stitch I can put it to five put it to three just to tighten my stitch depending on the type of fabric I am working on on how firm I want my the stitches to be and this one is to reel my bobbin to reel thread on my bobbin and this that I'm moving up and down is to change the stitches on my sewing machine. As you can see there, can you see the hole there? You can see how the stitches are changing and it is affecting the needle. The more I roll it, it is changing the needle, moving it back and forth, moving it back and forth. So the type of stitch I would like the sewing machine to perform for me. And this is to control the movement of your needle. Moving that in a clockwise motion, it is affecting the movement of my needle and also my shuttle, as you can see. And this, I'll be showing you how to remove your needle. If you have a broken needle or you want to change your needle, this is how you do it. You open that screw there, you can use your hand or the screwdriver and carefully remove that needle. And the needle have two face, the flat face and also the curved face. The flat face and also the curved face. Make sure that when you are inputting that needle, make sure the flat face is facing the machine and the curved face is facing you. The curved face must be facing you and make sure that it enter inside the hole very well. It's going to stop at where the metal is, a tiny metal is there. You can see, make sure that it enters to the fullest and then lock the lock it back. Then that is it. Make sure it is very firm. So the next thing is I'm going to show you how to thread your bobbin. Make sure you pay attention.
This is where we'll be dropping the curtains on how to set up your Siri machine. We hope you find this video helpful and watch out for our next video on how to maintain your Siri machine. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see many, many more Siri tips. Bye.